Yo, this is the Clockwork Pie Pico Calc. It has an awesome little retro vibe, a pretty cool keyboard, and a pretty crisp little screen. But let's be real for a minute. The official firmware, MM Basic, is a pretty powerful basic interpreter that lets you write your own programs, which is pretty cool. But I found myself wanting more than just a basic environment. What if I told you that with a simple free update I created can turn the PicoCalc from this into this, a pocket-sized powerhouse running MicroPython with a graphical interface, Wi-Fi, and a whole library of apps. This isn't just a new theme, it's a full-on brain transplant for the PicoCalc that I've been working on. I'm Jay Blanked, the creator of PicoWare, and today I want to give you a first look at this new custom firmware. We're going to check out its features, check out the new desktop and menu that I designed, and I'll show you how this upgrade can turn your calculator from a basic machine into a go anywhere tool for creators, developers, and tinkerers. Well, what exactly is PicoWare? The easiest way to think about it is as a complete software replacement for your PicoCalc that I built from the ground up. I wanted to swap out the original MM Basic environment for something way more graphical and versatile and turn the PicoCalc into a multi-tool that can run different apps and connect to the outside world. And this isn't just some one-off experiment, it's an active community-driven project. I designed it for the Raspberry Pi Pico platform, which means it's also compatible with other devices built on the same chip. The firmware is currently focusing on providing an amazing MicroPython experience. This means you're going from a single focus environment to an open playground. The standard Pico Calc is awesome, but PicoWare feels like unlocking a whole new level. You get a graphical user interface, status icons for things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and a library of pre-built applications. I've included tools like network scanners, GitHub downloaders, an app store, a weather app, and a bunch of games. It turns your calculator into a connected device that you can code on the go. And the best part? Installing PicoWare is simple. You don't need to be a coding genius or a hardware hacker. Grab your PicoCalc, your computer, a micro USB data cable, and let's get this installed. A few key details, the micro USB cable must support data. A charging only cable won't work. And also, we'll be using the micro USB port on the Raspberry Pi Pico module itself. The USB-C port on your PicoCalc is for charging your device and upgrading the keyboard firmware. So go to the official PicoWare repository, click on Builds, and then click on MicroPython, and make sure you grab the right UF2 file for your specific hardware. So if you're still using the Pico that shipped with your Pico Calc, you use the Pico variant. If you swapped it out for a Pico W, you use the Pico W variant. If you have the Pico 2, you use the Pico 2 variant. Or if you have the Pico 2 W, like I do, you'll use the Pico 2 W variant. Now make sure your Pico Calc is off and then turn it to the back. Now we have to get to the boot select button, which is the little white button on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself. Now this is a custom case by the user N602, which allows you to access the Pico easily. If you still have the case that came with your Pico Calc, you can still reach the boot select button without taking off the back panel. You need a toothpick or a similar small tool that will fit through the vents. Now we're going to press and hold that boot select button and while holding it, plug the micro USB cable into the Pico and then into your computer. Now your computer should immediately recognize the device as a simple USB flash drive, likely named RPI-RP2 if you're using the Pico or Pico W 
or RP2350 if you're using the Pico 2 or Pico 2W. Now, the installation really is as easy as dragging and dropping. Just drag that UF2 firmware file you downloaded earlier right onto the Pico Calc drive. The drive will copy over and then the device will automatically eject itself and reboot. And that's it. For the MicroPython version, there is one last crucial step to get all the apps. If you have a Pico W or a Pico 2W, you can download apps using the on-device app store. If not, just pop the SD card into your computer, create a folder named PicoWare on it if it doesn't exist, and drag and drop the entire apps folder from the GitHub download into that PicoWare folder. Your drive will look something like this. And when you're done, put the SD card back in and you're all set. The moment you reboot the PicoCalc after flashing PicoWare, the difference is night and day. That old text prompt is gone. The first thing you'll notice is the desktop. It's a pretty modern looking interface and right up top you have status icons for things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it also tells you your battery percentage. Now, if you have Wi-Fi credentials saved, the device gets to work in the background by connecting to your network and then syncing the time with the system. Getting around is super intuitive. The directional buttons are your main controls. Pressing the up from the main desktop takes you right into the app library. Now, this is where all your applications and system functions live organized in a clean scrollable list the menu style is sleek and just recently i added a roll over feature so when you scroll to the bottom of the list it just loops back up top it's a small touch but a fantastic quality of life improvement but the new look is just the beginning the real magic is what's happening underneath this GUI isn't just a pretty face, it's pretty much your gateway to some seriously powerful new functions. The menu gives you access to everything from system settings to a full-blown app library. This is pretty much the moment where you realize your calculator isn't just a calculator anymore, it's a legit pocket computer. And hey, just a quick pause. If you're finding this dive into PicoWare as cool as I am, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I have a ton more projects and custom apps for the PicoCalc and you don't want to miss out. Subscribing is the easiest way to make sure you don't miss out on what I have planned next. Alright, let's get back into it. So the new UI is slick, but what can you actually do with it? This is where the Pico Cup goes from a cool gadget to a seriously useful tool. The absolute game changer for me was implementing network connectivity. If you've got a Pico W or a Pico 2W in your device, PicoWare is built to use its Wi-Fi capabilities. Now, while the hardware also supports Bluetooth, full supports in the firmware is still experimental and a work in progress for me in the community. But with Wi-Fi, you can dive into the network utilities to scan for access points and connect to your home network. And once you're online, a ton of possibilities open up. You can use the pre-installed weather app, which will fetch and display the current conditions for your area. You can scroll social media, you can download repositories from GitHub. Your calculator is now connected to the world. But for me, and probably a lot of you out there, one of the best features I built into PicoWare is the ability to code in MicroPython directly on the device. Now, you don't even need a computer. This is a complete code editor built right into the firmware. From the app library, you can launch the editor, create a new file, and just start writing Python. Now, it is a simple editor, but it lets you manage files and test scripts on the go. 
Think about what that means. You can control hardware, read button presses, and draw right on the screen. I provided simple APIs in PicoWare that let your Python scripts hook into the device's UI, networking, and GPIO pins, opening the door for some fun hardware hacking and custom add-ons. And for more advanced work, you can connect the PicoCalc to your computer and use an IDE like Thani. Now, Thani is a great beginner-friendly Python editor that automatically recognizes your PicoWare device and gives you a live Python prompt or the repo running right on the PicoCalc. So you can write your ideas and quick scripts on the PicoCalc and then bring them over to Thani for quickly testing those ideas and debugging your code. So let's just step back and look at what we've done. We took a device that was built for a specific purpose and blew open the doors to its potential. By installing PicoWare, you haven't just updated your calculator, you've unlocked an incredibly versatile tool for learning, creating, and experimenting. Now, PicoWare is a completely free and open source project. I've put links to the GitHub repository down in the description below. There's an active community on Discord and the Clockwork Pi forums, where people are sharing what they've made, getting help, and contributing their own ideas. This means PicoWare is a living project that's always growing. But now I want to hear from you. What's the first thing you'll do with an upgraded PicoCalc? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.